Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos un super video para que puedan seguir practicando y estudiando las preguntas cívicas. Recuerden que es bien importante llegar bien preparado en esta sección porque muchas veces las personas se confían de las preguntas cívicas y batallan en la pronunciación y también en reconocer las preguntas que nos puede hacer el oficial. Entonces, todos los días practiquen siquiera una vez las preguntas cívicas, estudienlas, escúchenlas, aunque piensen que ya se las saben y pronuncien en voz alta porque son muy importantes. Ahora, si te gustaría tener una estructura de trabajo o un plan de estudio nosotros ofrecemos un curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com este es un curso 100% digital que cuenta con material de apoyo que consiste en transcripciones y audios que puedes descargar son más de 50 videos que están organizados en módulos para que te sea más fácil aprender todo sobre la entrevista de ciudadanía sin interrupciones y sin comerciales este por ser un curso digital lo puedes estudiar a tu propio tiempo y a tu propio ritmo sin importar tu nivel de inglés Además, contarás con el apoyo de nuestro equipo respondiendo tus preguntas ya sea por email o por un número directo de WhatsApp. Así que ya sabes, si te gustaría tener el mejor plan de estudio y bien organizado, visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com y ponte a estudiar ya. Muy bien, ¿qué les parece si vamos a estudiar y practicar las preguntas cívicas? Why does the flag have 50 stars? Name two national U.S. holidays. What does the president's cabinet do? How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? What did the Declaration of Independence do? What is the political party of the president now? Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Name your U.S. representative. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Who signs bills to become laws? Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Name one U.S. territory. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? We elect a president for how many years? How many U.S. senators are there? What is freedom of religion?
What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? When was the Constitution written? Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Who is in charge of the executive branch? Why does the flag have 13 stripes? What does the Constitution do? What is the highest court in the United States? What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? What did Susan B. Anthony do? There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. What does the judicial branch do? What is the supreme law of the land? The Federalist Papers support the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. Name one state that borders Canada. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? What is the rule of law? Under our Constitution, some power belongs to the states. What is one power of the states? Who vetoes bills? Name one right only for United States citizens. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Who is the father of our country? What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? What are two cabinet level positions? Why did the colonists fight the British? Who is the governor of your state now? What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did?
Name one branch or part of the government. How many justices are in the Supreme Court? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Who was the first president? What are the two major political parties in the United States? How many amendments does the Constitution have? What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? What is the name of the national anthem? In what month do we vote for president? What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? What happened at the Constitutional Convention? When do we celebrate Independence Day? What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? Who does a U.S. Senator represent? Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. What is an amendment? What is the capital of your state? What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? When must all men register for this elective service? Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? If both the president and vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Where is the Statue of Liberty?
We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Name one state that borders Mexico. What is the name of the President of the United States now? The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? Who was the president during World War I? Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? What is one reason colonists came to America? There were 13 original states. Name three. What is the economic system in the United States? What movement tried to end racial discrimination? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? What is the capital of the United States? Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senator now? Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. Who was president during the Great Depression in World War II? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? Who makes federal laws? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue con el estudio práctica? ¿Ya las sabes todas? Déjanos saber en los comentarios cuántas pudiste contestar. También, ¿qué otro tipo de videos te gustaría que hiciéramos? Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, te deseamos mucha suerte. Si no la tienes aún, no te preocupes. Aquí seguiremos trabajando todos juntos para que estés bien preparado para ese día tan importante. Nos vemos, pues, en el próximo video. Chao.